Hey, what's up guys? RJ here, back with another video. So, I may or may not have a problem. I, as you know, received a gift from my wife for Father's Day, and it was a drone, in which the last video we looked at how to manipulate an STL file. Um, and I have, in the meanwhile, purchased yet another drone. This one is a Altel design and manufactured drone called the X-Star Premium. And um, I got it on uh, Amazon during the uh, Amazon day. It was a fantastic price. So I just couldn't pass it up. So uh, in this video, we're going to look at how to design the gimbal brace from scratch. Um, and later on, I'll do a uh, review on this drone as it compares to my Phantom 3 standard. But just the initial um, feel of this one, this, this drone seems much stronger, um, much more uh, rigid, thicker plastic. So whether that's a good or bad thing, I'm not sure, but um, it's just something I've noticed off first glance. So anyway, with that, Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at how to uh, work this out in Fusion. All right, so the first thing you want to do is start a new project. And we'll name this how to. So double click on your new project. And the first thing we'll do is we're going to hit the C key on the keyboard for the uh, circle. We're going to select the bottom plane right here. And we'll click right in the middle and extend out to, I believe, 35.10. Oops. 35.10. Hit enter twice. And there we go, we have the outer circumference, including uh, roughly 1.8 millimeter of um, thickness in this wall. So the lens will fit inside of this once we shell it out. So this would be where the lens area goes. And the next thing we need to do is to build the I guess platform or brace going up and the easiest way to do that I believe is to hit the R key on the keyboard and just we'll just click on it right there and we'll dimension it right now so hit the escape key go and hit the D key on the keyboard so we can dimension the width here. And this will hit the escape key to get out of the dimensioning tool. And this will be our basic sketch for the gimbal lock. So from here, we will extrude these items up. Go back to the sketch, double click on the sketch, and we'll extrude this up. And there we go, we have our basic form here. So what we need to do, these are these are currently two bodies. This is a body and this is a body. So we can, at this point, combine these two. And uh, you can select modify and combine. You want to grab the target body and the tool body. And we're going to select join. And in this case, we don't need to keep the tools because we're going to form this into one body. So now that we have one body, 
good there. So what we can do now is shell this out and um, put 1.80. So our standard lens should fit right in there. Okay, so the next thing we can do is fill at this edge here. So what I did at this point was I printed this off, this basic form, and then checked the diameter, make sure the lens fit inside of here, and I also from there I was able to measure off where I needed to extrude up for for locking on the top of the gimbal brace. <clears throat> okay, so the next thing we need to do is to draw out the areas that we want to build up, extrude out the sections that will lock on to the actual gimbal itself. So let's go ahead and um, let's use the rectangle tool. <music> This section will be the, the area that we extrude up. Now we need a we also need another area at the top because it, these two sections will sandwich in between the gimbal itself. So we'll also use a rectangle tool. We can go ahead and dimension it now. Okay, so now that we have these two areas built, let's go ahead and uh, we need to get rid of this area and this area, and we can use the line tool to do that. So let's start by extruding these two up. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is get rid of this section and this section. And we will select these areas and extrude. However, this time we are going to be removing, so we can try the two function. And no matter what's, if we do it that way, no matter what, if we go come back and change the thickness of this back plane, it won't affect uh, these extrusion points. Hit the, hit the enter key. And we can turn the sketches off. And that is our basic layout. Now, this section right here needs to, to come up a, a little bit. So what we'll do is we'll extrude upwards. Um, it is probably 1.85. And this area right here will be where the the gimbal is locked in place. So and you can uh, you can clean this up by adding some uh, fillets or chamfers. Okay, so another th another thing we can do here is add some little bumps here to help um, lock in this guard with the gimbal. And the same, you would do the same as we did here. We just right click and create sketch. 
and this gives you a top view. So, um, some of these edges not, so they're not so square so let's put a fillet okay so another thing I'd like to add is maybe a center brace uh, right here <laughs> So that's about it guys, uh, hopefully uh, it was interesting, hopefully you learned something, I know I did in the process. Um, I don't know what it is about these drones, but let me tell you, I am hooked. I'm having a blast flying them around, getting some great aerial footage, I uh, hope to share with you uh, in the future. Oh, and here is what the final product looks like, let me see if I can get a close up here. So, um, so yeah, guys, so uh, I hope you guys are having a great summer and, uh, until next time, take care. <laughs>